While two other U.S. presidents have gone through impeachment processes of their own, this impeachment inquiry is much different for many reasons, including the element of social media. Here's Tan Trung. Unlike Richard Nixon and Bill Clinton, do you swear or affirm that the testimony you are about to give is the truth? The, whole the Trump impeachment Trump. inquiry is taking place in the digital age. The presence of social media led to a remarkable moment last week. Shocked, appalled, devastated. Former U.S. Yes. Ambassador Marie Yovanovitch was responding to questions about why she was removed from her post in Ukraine. Then, in real time, the president posted a tweet saying, in part, quote, Everywhere Marie Yovanovitch went turned bad. And now the president in real time is attacking you. In a first for impeachment hearings, you had a member of Congress reading a tweet from the president and then the witness describing her reaction to that tweet. I mean, I can't speak to what the president is trying to do, but I think the effect is to be intimidating. From news sites to news junkies, social media is also providing a platform to anyone else wanting to sound off on the hearings. There's the serious. This Twitter user cheered on a Republican member after he, quote, beat the living hell out of the fake news media. There's also the ridiculous. This user wanted to know, quote, who is the gorgeous woman behind Representative Speer? If you watch the hearings, you may walk away thinking Republicans and Democrats live in different realities. But judging what I see on social media, the same could be said for a lot of Americans. For something that's supposed to keep people connected, social media is also a powerful tool of division. Tom Trung, Eyewitness News. The impeachment hearings resume tomorrow.